Hello and welcome back. This is Dave Barner from Synergist Technologies. Uh, a few weeks back I did a uh, lateral design that you see on the screen. Um, I had to take a couple pipes and then I used the combined tool and delete faces to uh, make it one part. And uh, it worked out pretty well. Um, I'll probably try to put the link to that below in the description if you want to go back and see that video. Uh, in there I told you I'd come back um, a little longer than I expected but I came back and we go through how to manipulate this using some of the parameters. So uh, I'd like to take some time and go over that right now. So if I go to the uh, modify pull down and down at the bottom here there's change parameter. Uh, let me resize this a little bit. So here's my parameter window and um, uh, all of my parameters exist under here, my model parameters. So you'll see that I have, uh, as I built it, so uh, my first sketch, extrude, the planes. So this is in the, in the progression that I built the model. So under sketch one, you're going to see that uh, I have my initial uh, main line for my pipe, this line down here. And here's this sketch that controls the ID and OD. So I can... Um, you know, if, if you're going to use a, a pipe chart or something like that to to manipulate this, um, maybe as I did, um, you can start, you can rename your parameters to make this a little bit easier instead of D numbers trying to figure out what this is. So let's just type uh, pipe, I'll say pipe 1, and this will be the OD. All right. And let's, let's fill a couple of these out. Uh, I'll say pipe 1 ID. All right, so now I can, uh, it gives me a little bit better idea of what I'm working with here. So under the extrude, this is actually the extrude that I did here. And I did this asymmetrical where uh, one, the one, number one direction gave me an offset from my uh, origin, which is right here in the very center. And then uh, distance two was the length behind there. And in this model, uh, the distance of this pipe and uh, the distance of this back half of the main line should be in most cases they're equal but uh, again we're making a custom part so we can make these anything we want so let's um according to my chart this is a this is a d dimension so let's just put that in uh, so i'm just going to put in uh, dim d and i'll make this one dim l and uh I can continue to go through here now. Uh, the angle that I use here is is offset from uh, my origin plane, and here's here's the angle. So I can just again, if I went in here, I can just type in angle. It's not just something with a little description. All right, and under plane two, um, this is the extrusion length or the offset length, I should say, where my sketch is to where the extrusion is coming down below. So it's offset 14 and a half degrees or inches from my origin up. Um, so what I'd like to do is I'll probably just keep that. Um, here's my other, here's my lateral pipe dimensions. So let's put in here pipe two. This is the OD and we'll make this pipe two. ID. So, you know, you don't have to do this. This is just a methodology. If you want to control your parameters down here, you don't have to rename them here. I'm going to show you another uh, alternative to doing this. But since we have so many parameters, I thought that this might be uh, something that uh, would help. So at least for me here, um, I'm going to put in here that this is going to be my mat my lateral length. Uh, all right. And uh, this length is going to be controlled um, by this. These two are kind of linked. The offset of the, the offset of the plane and then the length of that extrusion. So I'm going to link this together here. I'm going to put this one and I'm going to actually drive this one. So I'm going to type in this parameter. And if you remember, if you see here, it is a negative value. So you see it turns from red to black, which means it's a, 
it's a legitimate parameter recognizes it but this one I want to multiply it by negative 1 so I can get this negative value which is the offset of that plane so what's going to happen now is if I change this value all right and I can go up to 16 you'll see that my model is going to adapt over there all right and I can just continually change these let's go 22 and you'll see that that'll just uh, creep up let's get it back down and then the uh, same thing with my angle if I want I can take that down to 30 degrees uh, I can go up to 60 degrees if I go down below 30 degrees it's gonna self-destruct I think so let's just try 20 and yeah it just it just self-destructs so it looks like 30 is probably going to be somewhat of a minimal distance and I don't want to go too high 70 75 degrees I mean if you get the 90 it's a T so you don't you know some there's nothing we're gonna be working here so that's a that's a quick way to do that now uh, the uh, second dairy way is without going into any of this is I can create user parameters and let's just say that I want to type in um, my lateral angle all right and then um, I need to I need to spell it correctly I don't have to spell it correctly but it does help in <laughs> reading it so I need to make sure I choose uh, the right units and these are going to be in degrees uh, the expression is going to be you know 45 I'll put for right now and for an enter we saw what happens if it gets below 30 so let's put uh, angle between um, let's say 30 degrees and let's just say 75 is a max maybe you can set this any you know anything that you want I'll say okay now right now you'll see you know there's the description the comment uh, gives a little bit of hint to the user and I can do this for all of them I can put user all my user uh, parameters up here all in one location but the thing with this is this isn't going to do anything right now I, it's not connected it's just the parameter that doesn't it's not connected to anything so how about if I come down to my angle and I'm under the expression I'm going to type in I'm just gonna, there I just start typing lateral and here it's going to come up my lateral uh, angle and it automatically enters a value there and you'll see right away that it it assumes the value of whatever I typed up here so now I can control this using um, using this user parameter which will drive my my standard parameter and I can do that for all of them so I can create user parameters name them what I want give them comments and then link them down below and that way I can drive everything from just one list and it would contain only the parameters that are of value to me all right now there is one further way to do this uh, and that is I can choose what model parameters that I want to select as favorites so I can just say I want that one I'll take that one and I can choose which uh, parameters that I want and I'll take that one and that one so there they are that's all of them I guess so they're all right here now and I can come in here now and change uh, whatever I want so if I want to go up to an 8 inch pipe all right I can go to an 8 inch pipe and um, what's this 7 I think 7.981 so now I have an 8 inch pipe here and I can then just go and change what my uh, D and L value should be so let's say uh, that should be 4.5 and this one is going to be 17 and a half there and I can then adjust this one here if uh, if I need that one that one's also should be and my lateral length can be whatever it wants but uh, we'll make it what the what the value is supposed to be so everything you can update it that way now the one that you can adjust is this one here since I made this a custom parameter uh, I would have to come down here and manipulate this one uh, down here in my users all right so one way around that I can delete that parameter and then put a value in here uh, of what I want 
So that's like um, uh, three different ways maybe to control parameters inside of a model. Uh, it does work really nice. I mean, it works great if you have a, a custom part and you want to manipulate that and and make it uh, customize it and a lot of different man mannerisms maybe then save it out but um, it, it certainly has its applications uh, I hope uh, you have an instance that you might be able to use something like this uh, investigate your um, your parameters and and see how you can use them all right so uh, there you have it um, again if you uh, if you like this video uh, give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumbs down make a comment uh, let me know uh, if you liked it and then if there's other things that you want to see, uh, other type of videos. So that's it for me. Um, again, this is Dave Briner from Centers of Technologies. Have yourself a great day.